Hello, in this video, we are going to learn how to make this cool motion sensor widget using Cayenne dashboard. To get started, we are using a PIR motion sensor, aka passive infrared sensor, which detects motion and an ESP8266, any version would do, not MCU, ESP32, yeah, and three male to female jumper wires. So now, the VCC on the PIR sensor is connected to my board on the 5 volt. Then the output pin is connected to D12 and I have the ground connected to the ground. So in my dashboard now, I have the MQTT username, MQTT password and client ID, which you already know from the previous Cayenne dashboard tutorials. Then I'm gonna grab these values and put them into my code. Already I have connected my board to the Wi-Fi. I also wanna put in username from the dashboard, MQTT password and MQTT client. Now the next thing to do is to define this PIR. I'm gonna call it int PIR, then I'm gonna put it into D12. So I'm going to also add another variable, which is value, which is kind of the one that's going to, you know, receive the value from the PIR sensor. If the, if the pin detects something, it's going to be high. I'm going to put it into value. If the pin is low, means nothing has been detected. We're going to put the value low into value. Then we're going to go into the void setup and mention that the PIR is a sensor, which means going to give us an input. We're gonna say do that by saying pin, pin mode, then specify that PIR is an input. Pretty easy. Then I think that's all. We're gonna go down here. Notice I started this code with the, the, the basic for you know setting up a Cayenne dashboard. We're just only adding a few things uh, on how to handle a PIR. Then the thing we are going to do is we need to read the value from the PIR sensor into the variable that we declared, which is value. That's why we're going to say value will read the this is a digital sensor. Then the value will have the value of digital read. Then we're going to read the PIR. Now we need to kind of judge if the PIR sensor is high or low. How are we going to do that? We're just going to use an if condition and say if if value is equal to high, then we're going to do something. That something is sending the value to the dashboard. So I'm going to use the function code Cayenne dot virtual right then i'm going to specify the channel i'm going to use the channel one put in the value in this case the sensor is high which means it detected someone i'm going to use high then i'm going to specify that it's a type digital sensor then the unit will be digital so now the, the next thing to do is else. This means in case now the sensor is low, but sorry, we need to delay here a little to kind of give the, uh, the sensor some time off, you know, warming up after something is detected. I'm just putting on a thousand milliseconds, which goes to one second. Then on else here, we're going to specify that we're going to tell the Cayenne dashboard that now the sensor has detected nothing and we're going to say that by sending it a value of low. Same here, we're going to delay a little amount of time which is a thousand millisecond equals to one second. Then I think we're good to go. If we go to the dashboard here, we're going to see that the dashboard is waiting for the bot to connect, which means if we upload this correctly, these values will start, you know, going into the Cayenne dashboard. Then let's hit upload. Hopefully it'll work. Up 
uploading, uploading, uploading. It takes some time, but boom, how hot, no errors. Now let's go to the dashboard and see if anything changed. You can see that in the dashboard, we already have something, you know, we have something, but we need to make our own. We need to go to add device, add new, add widget, scroll down a little and choose custom widget. I'm going to go ahead and choose motion. I'm going to call it motion detector, go down and I'm going to choose digital sensor unit zero and one because high and low. Then the channel that we specified is one, then boom, add widget. After I add my widget, you can see that now the motion is off, but as, as I'm talking, I'm moving. So if something tries to move around, around the sensor, you're going to see that we have a kind of reaction on the widget. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Cayenne dashboard motion sensor. If you want to ask something, please write it in the comment. And until next time, guys, see you then. Bye.